I'm getting ready to set up a little video on the bed of the 450. And I just love the way these stacks sound. Figured I'd give y'all a little, a little diesel porn this morning before we get into the video. So trying to complete our discussion of wiring, I'm gonna see, let me uh, raise this up just a little bit. See if we can get in here where we can see. All right, so the description of the plugs here, the two outer ones on the left and right are glow plugs. They're fatter and heavier duty spades and fatter and heavier duty wires. Okay. They ground through the block like a spark plug will. So there's a little different procedure for ohming those out. I'll talk about it in a second. The five uh, smaller connections in the, in the center are all of your uh, injectors. So the center small terminal or the center one on the whole piece is the common, which if you look at these, you've got a black and a red, a blue and a black, a green and a black and a yellow and a black so the black is the common and the colors are the signal wires that send a signal to the injector so if you have a uh, like an alligator clamp style probe you can clamp it on the center probe which is the common and then take your other probe and touch the two adjacent smaller terminals on the left and right of that common and that will ohm you know, we're assuming this is inside the truck, so this would that would ohm through the injector and back to the common. See if you if it ohms out to the within spec, you're good. Um, on the glow plugs, if you need to check them, you're gonna clamp onto a good ground or even go to the battery, and then you're gonna go from this from you know from either the tip of the glow plug or this, and that'll go to ground because they ground like a spark plug would, okay? What I usually will do, because it's so hard to get to these plugs, oh, I'm bumping the camera, to get to these plugs with all the turbo plumbing and everything on, I'll take, I keep these uh, nine pin pigtails from um, when I'm doing valve cover harnesses. If they don't need to be changed, I keep these and so let's see, I have, in this case, my green is my center wire. So it's stripped. So what I will do, and I'm not, I'm not going to plug all this in. This is just kind of for demonstration purposes, but let me see if I can get all this in the camera. So what I will do is I'll take my ground. Again, we're assuming this is on the truck. Okay, so I'm connected to my center terminal. Now you can see all of the glow plugs are brown, so we'll separate those out. That'll be a little different test. We're doing injector test right now. Okay. So what I was showing you just a minute ago, you would make the loop from the common to the signal and ohm that out. And then you can, that would be the frontmost injector, assuming the left side is, in, is the front of the motor. This will be the next one. Then you skip your common because you're already on there. This would be the third and the fourth um, injector. So I think it's 2.6 to 3.2. It's in the other video I have the uh, written down, but it's usually around three ohms is what you'll see going through the injector solenoid. Now what I'll do, so we, we can probe each one of the signals against the, the common and we can see what the resistance is there, see if anything's bad. Okay, so that's gonna be the ohm process for using the common and the four signal wires. Now, if you take your, uh, I'm just using the black lead, it doesn't really matter. Hook that to a known ground. You can go off the battery or a good, clean, known ground around the block. The glow plugs ground through the block like a spark plug, so the signal coming through here is gonna be hot and the ground will be on the on the engine side so we can ohm through here i think spec is anything below two ohms usually on brand new motorcraft ones i'll see about 0.4 so you can go to each one of these one at a time 
and you can ohm all of that out and that'll tell you if you have a bad glow plug or how many bad glow plugs you have all right so i hope this kind of covers uh questions you guys may have again keep these pigtails if you don't use them on a project because they're great extensions to where you can plug this in and this will extend up above all the turbo plumbing and allow you to do these tests on the engine without disassembling anything and it may save you a lot of tear down time uh, you know you may be thinking that you got bad glow plugs they may ohm out good and you might have a glow plug relay that's bad so we'll get into that kind of uh, testing of the relays and stuff on another video but that should cover everything uh, at least the way I do the uh, injector uh, IDM injector driver module plug all the way through the harness and back and doing the individual harness itself so if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you out any way I can or if you have any tips for me I'm always looking to better my knowledge on these things and so that's it for the wiring and uh, I guess we'll be heading back to the uh, 01 um, got a couple of more things to finish on that so we'll see y'all on the next one